What is up internet, it's your boy Carl, and if you don't know me, I'm a 28 year old sheep farmer and sheep shearer from Sligo in the northwest of Ireland. So today we are back in the stunning Glenair Forshoe, shearing our own sheep today. Um, it's always the way with contractors that your own work often gets left to last, or if not last, then late on. It is now August, I think around the 6th of August. And um, yeah, we have a pile of sheep done in the last few weeks. The weather, the Irish weather eventually turned good and we got shearing in a big way. And um, I'd say I've probably myself have done about 4,000 in the last three weeks. Um, it's been very hectic, some shearing competitions too. Had great crack, uh, worked hard, but yeah, let YouTube and social media slip a wee bit. But I did warn you, July is our busiest month, but now it's into August. We're back on the horse and we should be good for the rest of the year because while we're still cheering, it'll still be busy for about another three to four weeks or so. Um, at least it's gotten down to manageable levels where I can have evenings to edit videos and I have a bit of a chance to get some of our own work done and get some content. So I'm standing out and the main gathering team, Dad, uh, the Kells family again from one of the last vlogs there we were in Castle Pollard in Westmeath. Um, they're bringing in the first bunch of hornies off the mountain. I came down a little bit later. Um, I have the shearing trailer with me and got a few bits and pieces. Later, later. I bet they're dart over the field. Great sack, so I came out on shh, wait, wait, wait. I came out on the road and I left the one of the gates open so the sheep just went shoo into the pin and in one way and out the other. So now they're out into this garden. Lovely garden, isn't it? There's some rare types of rushes here. Exquisite. Good girl, come on. Walk on, walk on, walk on, walk on, good girl. Walk on, walk on, lie down, lie down. Thank you. Casey, Casey, good girl. Lay down, lay down. Lay down, lay down, lay down. Good job. Sheep will be blatant here flat out, so you might not even be able to hear me, but the main job we're doing today is we're going to shearing the sheep. Um, it's the time of year now to get the wool off them. But with hill sheep, when you have them in, you end up doing multiple jobs at once because it's not often that you bring sheep, hill sheep in off the mountain. Like it's just it's a big job to do it. Like this is one bunch, we have to go up then for uh, the second of the bunches, and then we'll have to go down the bog for all mine. It's like gathering is a huge part of the day. It's a big big um, big job and requires a lot of help. So when we have them into shearing, for shearing, we're going to dose them and we're also going to paint them because when they're shorn, they'll have no paint on them. It's very important for hill sheep also to be painted so you can identify them if any go missing or stray or and also so you can see them from far off. So um, yeah, do, shearing, painting and dosing. Dosing probably with fluke ivor, I'd say to um, ensure against fluke and then Cobalt B12 from Natural Stock here. In this clip we already have the lambs sorted, but we're taking off the ram lambs now because they won't be going back up the mountain. We had the lambs sorted because they're receiving a different dose from the oas. Now we're going to let the female yo lambs back with the oas and shear them all. Between this sorting, dosing and gathering the sheep, it's quite a bit of work before we even get shearing and the day is pushing around, so it's time to get going. Ram lambs can be identified because they have thicker horns than the old lambs for the non farming audience. First batch of yos, yos for fluke, shearing trailer set up, sun is shining, ready to shear some sheep. 
wish, I wish, I wish. One woman and her dog. You're standing right in the way of the camera now. <laughs> Come on, sheepies. It's all right, Casey. Relax now. Relax, relax. You can't have you. Can't share any sheep. <laughs> Chill out. There's loads more garden to do now. We'll get you about an hour. Full yard of sheep there. More out there. And more out the mountain. So we better get cheering. Is that not even half them yet, is it? We better get cheering. Cavalry's landed. Woohoo! Right. Burn on the barbecue! Can you see her? <laughs> oh, <it's> <laughs> yes, feed is very important. Where's Heather at? I landed. With her. Oops. She came. Put that away! Put that away! So we have 150 shorn, we're stopping for tea. <laughs> and we're probably not 150 there, but. Uh, we haven't even got as far as mine yet, so there'll be no shortage of sheep today. <laughs> oh, just put the head down and keep motoring. So while we're weaning the ram lambs, the yo lambs are staying with the mothers. They're going to be shorn and they're just going to go back out again. Back out to, not to mountain. Really. Um, it makes sense because I suppose partly we don't really have much place to go with them. Um, they're not being sold, they're going to be kept for replacement so there's not as much of an onus to get them to grass and get them to get pushed on like there's no real panic on them really, they can just stay here and then they can be taken away then by the time the ram goes out which would be in early November yeah that will be the time to take them away then so to make, just to make sure the strong ones don't actually take the ram because that's the only danger there but um, yeah, they've been kept on for replacements. They're going to be dry in the first year. We don't put a ram with them as lambs. So um, yeah, there's no real panic on them. They should be on the mountain here um, where the mothers will train them how to live on the mountain and where to graze and where to stay. And um, 
and they'll get used to where they're going to be as adult sheep. So it makes sense to just shear them, treat them as adult yos at the moment, shear them, paint them, dose them, and let them on back out. Many hands make light work, boys. Come on, Harry. Well, we've done a bit of a time skip there. It's uh, half seven now. Handy yuck. So we've just been shearing away since, really. And uh, we have them done down to one more bunch. Um, yeah. Just basically just been, sh basically been shearing all day because um, it's just been hot and heavy sheep have been coming. I haven't actually done any gathering. Myself and Casey didn't hardly get out at all because just the way it worked is that because there's certain teams doing whatever and it was dad that was away gathering it just wouldn't make any sense for me to leave the shearing team and go gathering because then not, not enough sheep would be shorn there's an awful lot of sheep to shear today so I had to stay on my stand but we have them done down to one more bunch now and um, yeah getting on in the evening but we'll get them done anyway which is great The plan is attack. <laughs> Last bunch, nearly there. Let me share with lamb. Little lamb here. <laughs> Only a young fella, probably. How old is that lamb, John? Is a week, ten days maybe. Every extra one's a bonus. If he stays alive, he'll come into something someday. Mom loves being on YouTube. How do you think the day went? Very well. Nearly there. Yeah. Would we have? Would we be lost without you? Yeah. Good. We were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we had the barbecue on the job. Absolutely mighty. Steak, burgers, the whole lot. Oh no. Some team to feed. I've been an hour ahead around for this look through tonight. Hi! Hi! Best stinky child, Carl, you better edit out that bit, okay? I'm telling you right now. Hey, yeah, head around. Yeah? Make sure you edit that out, Heather Ann. <laughs> oh, look, oh, oh, crap! Oh, look! It's deep in the rafters! He went under! <whistles> Baby lamb, do 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 Baby lamb, do 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 Now girls, be free, be free, be good girl. That's them shorting so, and 
All my sheep, which were the second bunch to be done, are now in this garden, which is above the road, on Dad's side of the road. Just as it happened, it was handy to paint them, dose them, shear them, let them out the garden into here. But now they have to be taken out of here and brought back down to my land. So at least Casey can get a bit of a run, some bit of work for the day. And we can get out and stretch our legs and cool down after shearing all day. Now we're moving. It's so only that fence keeping all my sheep from all dads. Wouldn't feel that entirely safe about it though. So I'm gonna try and get them away from it. Come here, come here, Casey. Casey, come here, Casey. Hey, 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 Come on, good guys, come on, come on. Good girl. Oh, the poor wee lammy. Ah, oh, good on you. Just come on. Let him spot there. Casey, good girl, Casey. Casey, come, Casey. Casey, Casey, good girl. Casey. Wow! 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 <laughs> How do you put the hazard on? <laughs> hey, you are the hazard! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Hey! Hey, Casey, come here! Casey, come! Come here! Lay down, lay down! Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Glenn, lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie. Lie down. Lie down. Tristan. Lie down. Little boy. Not for use to a trailer then boys. We'll get them up. Come on. Come on. Oh shit. Sheep shorn, dosed and painted, lambs weaned off, job done, great team on the job, rain stayed away, thankfully. Ah, mighty. So if you enjoyed this shearing video, I'm sure you'll enjoy this one. It's one of my best performing videos, over 12,000 views, a great crack with my friend Jason, shearing his sheep and wiring a trailer. Give it a watch. Until next time, enjoy.